Leichhardt Oval will stop hosting NRL games. One of the most loved sports grounds in Sydney is falling apart. They can only get a fraction of there. Oh, they get this, all this they get about about money. It's a great stadium. It is a great stadium, but what, what do you think Leichhardt Oval is worth to the Tigers? I really should just say that this series is not just going to become a West Tigers like bi yearly talk about. But once again, we first edition of 2024, we have to talk about the West Tigers. Obviously, the last episode we talked about the battle between now one of one of the former heads of the West Tigers, Lee Hedger Patelis, against the West Life podcast because of a cease and desist letter. And ever since then, after that that video the West Tigers went on to get their second wooden spoon in a row but everything almost everything has completely turned around since then the entire board was sacked after an independent review which had to have been a very happy occasion for a whole heap of uh, long time suffering Tigers fans Benji Marshall has now become the new coach and they've played so far as of this video two games and they've had good moments in the Canberra game, but ended up losing, and then went to Leichhardt Oval and uh, slapped the the Cronulla Shark silly. I really appreciated it. So all in all, everything seemed to be up and coming. And then we have to talk about Leichhardt Oval. Leichhardt Oval is one of the three grounds that the West Tigers use per season. It's majoritively to carry on the Balmain Tigers lineage when you know, Balmain and Western Suburbs came together. They also use Campbelltown uh, Sports Stadium in Lamia, and, but also play most of their games at Comag Stadium in Parramatta. One thing that could be stated about Leichhardt Oval, it is, it is a stadium that very much needs upgrades. It is not in the greatest of conditions. I believe the price was set around $30 million to refurbish the stadium into you know, a ground that could be very much like what the new Brookvale would look, currently looks like. But, um, and this has been rumoured for a couple of years about, oh, the stadium's going to be shut and will not be used. And obviously there's been talks for the last couple of years about this happening, but a real sort of come to Jesus moment happened when New South Wales Premier Chris Minns announced that, yeah, uh, we, that they can't really do anything. Purely because New South Wales is in a ridiculous amount of debt and just does not have the money to throw 30 million at a refurbished stadium. Which makes sense from a government and obviously a financial standpoint purely because of um, the amount of stuff that has happened over the last couple of years that are currently affecting not just New South Wales, but a lot of countries in the West. That is obviously, until then you bring up that uh, the New South Wales government is funding Penrith getting a new stadium. Well, it's not exactly a new stadium. Basically, they're just adding another tier to the same two stands to basically make it look like a smaller McDonald Jones stadium. And I should state beforehand, yes, I believe Penrith deserve a new stadium. 100%. They definitely deserve it. It's a stadium that's pretty much been the same for, like, as long as I've been watching rugby league. So, yeah, it would be nice for it to get an upgrades like that. But And I just want to state that I know that a lot of the discourse, because there's been talks about, because I think there was one story where it was talking about how it's like, oh, Penrith can get um, like gold and urinals, but uh, we, they don't have enough money to to like rebuild Leichhardt and stuff like that. And which I, I can understand why people would get a little bit annoyed at that. But a lot of the comments on that post were really just about like, oh, but Penrith won, have won a three-peat. Oh, well, what have the Tigers done? The Tigers have done nothing to deserve it. Because as we all know, you don't, if we, you don't deserve to play in good stadiums if, you're not, if you haven't won premierships. And genuinely, this is sort of like a tiny instance of a bigger issue with me is that, um, and this is not Z-Tank talking, this is, uh, this is Jesse talking. I absolutely despise social media comment sections when it comes to sport because holy sh last couple of years like everyone has just become more stupid but i do believe obviously yes penrith do deserve the same but if we're going off this rhetoric of 
oh, if teams go well and have streaks of like of um of premierships, then they deserve their stadium to get rebuilt. If that's the case, then Cogra should be about ninety thousand capacity and basically look like the new camp. Because if we're going off like that, then because St George won all those premierships. Cogra should be like 100,000 capacity. I do think that Leichhardt Oval does need to be saved. I do know that there is there is a split about like, oh, the need of like, you either keep the suburban grounds and stick to what is, or sort of go the AFL route and just play all of the games in Sydney in two stadiums. Which, got nothing against the AFL for doing that. They definitely get more people than NRL, so good job there. I had to comment on that because I know there's going to be some AFL people that bring it up in the comments, but I'll beat you to it. Ha! But basically, is this sort of thing... I, I'd i much rather games at like grounds which have 15,000 capacity, but there's 15,000 people there and the atmosphere's electric, rather than have, say, 40,000 at an 80,000 capacity stadium. Because, yeah, there's 40,000 people there, but the stadium's like half empty it's like it's why i hate when regular season matches are played at a core because it's just there's no point but the problem is though is belmore's not up to grade for the bulldogs to play there and uh south sydney got nowhere else to play unless they move to alliance <laughs> and i do think that leichardt oval is an important ground for rugby league i mean like i do think rugby league needs grounds like Leichhardt to be like refurbished and stuff like that. There has been talks about the NRL just straight up buying it, which honestly, they I think they should. I think it'd be really good and they could refurbish it as their own and then maybe like the Tigers buy it from them, something like that. But I just think personally it'd be a real shame to see a stadium like Leichhardt Oval go because purely just as like a whole historic thing that uh, the amount of history that the ground has. I do understand that there are obviously aspects where their hands are sort of tied and they can't really do it, for example, like the New South Wales government. But it just would be nice to see them that ground be, you know, developed and make it potentially a permanent home for the West Tigers. And I think even more personally, especially like, like the ground has got like a very me big memory in terms of, you know, of, of West, of Balmain's fans. I mean, none more importantly than Laurie Nichols. Like, there is a laneway in the ground which is named after him. It just makes me think, obviously, because he unfortunately passed away just before the West Tigers played their first game, and it's just... And obviously, five years later, they'd finally win a premiership. It's just a whole bittersweet thing, because, like... I mean, like, I mean... There's obviously countless amount of fans over the years who've supported Balmain and gone to Leichhardt every week who are very much no longer with us. But Laurie specifically is like one that sort of is a personal one for me purely because, and this is a true story by the way, so like my mum back in the 80s and 90s would go to like, you know, games all around. This was even before the Knights came in in 88. And my mum first properly, well I think it was like when she was a teenager, she'd get into autographs. Do you want to know who her first autograph was from? Laurie Nichols. <laughs> I'm not making this up. <laughs> I'm being like genuinely serious. You think all of the people who were influential in rugby league at that time, this man was the first person. And it's just, I just think it would just be a, a pretty big shame if the stadium were to go. So... In closing, save Leichhardt Oval.